If you're interested in exploring CK12, you're welcome to scroll down on the homepage or try out our subjects or explore menu options. The explore options gives you choices for our Flexbooks, Flexbooks 2.0, quick study guides, our plics and simulations, both of which are interactives, and then our adaptive practice. I can go ahead and click on any topic, such as our simulations, and explore our chemistry and physics ones, search for a topic, use filters, and more. Similarly, I could click on explore and do the same thing for plics. So let's go ahead into one of these options. You'll see different pieces. And I could search for a topic here, or I could go ahead and click on a branch and then scroll down and browse and pick a particular plix. These all come with some challenge questions, learn more options, and an interactive as you go through from here. These assigned to class features work for CK12 classes or the direct assignment to Google Classroom. But you may find that for the Google Classroom add-on, Canvas and Schoology, the easiest option is to click more options, add this to your library, and then you can easily find it through the library feature when making assignments in those platforms. Let's go back and keep exploring. You can kind of go back one step and then the CK12 logo to get me back to that homepage. And I can continue to explore using that, or let's go down and pick a particular topic. Let's say grade seven math. I can go ahead, open this up, sync it in my library and update, pull in the newest resources for anything that I might have saved to my library before. But I can once again, kind of add it to my library there, explore any particular sections, say combining like terms, and I can go ahead and I can explore the content itself, try out embedded interactives or inline questions. I can click on Flexi and ask a question, like how do I customize a Flexbook? And it will give me some help as I'm working my way through, or I can click on my task and see what's happened in terms of new insights or assignments or things like that. I can play around with the practice that my students will see, check out the toolbar, check out some related content, all sorts of options to explore. And again, I can always kind of see these resources, explore the content itself. And if I wanna go one step further than exploration and bookmarking to make it easy, I can choose to customize this content by clicking on choose and then customize. And that will drop me into the editor. If you're more interested in customization, then definitely check out our videos that talk about basic edits, how to embed content, how to add images, and much more. Because really one of the key things about CK12 is this ability to take all of the resources that we have, all these different types, and you can customize that practice into quizzes, you can customize our flexbooks and lessons, add resources, and all the rest to tailor that content directly to what you're looking for, for your class. All of that can then be assigned through CK12 classes, or your Google Class, Canvas, or Schoology resources. With that, I hope you enjoy exploring.